Our election coverage continues. The biggest headline, there will be a runoff in Atlanta's mayoral race. 11 Alive political analyst, Dr. Andre Gillespie joining us now. Good morning. So City Council President Felicia Moore mm -hmm. and Councilman Andre Dickens, is this likely pairing? Kasim Reed was most funded mm -hmm. and most well known, but didn't make that cut. You're not surprised. I'm not surprised. There were warning signs for former Mayor Reed throughout this campaign. So the fact that he'd raised so much money and had such high name recognition and still couldn't poll really above 20, 21 percent in the in the polls was actually something that was really concerning. Mm -hmm. So when you see this high number of undecided voters and then you look at Reed's unfavorables, what that suggested was that there were a lot of voters who didn't want to vote for him, especially since some surveys actually specifically asked, did the scandals that erupted in the latter part of Reed's term sort of make you not want to vote for mm -hmm. him and a lot of people said yes that mm -hmm. suggested that people were not going to vote for Reed they just hadn't decided who they were going to vote for and what we saw yesterday was that the uh, a, a vast majority of those voters broke for either Andre Dickens or Felicia Moore yeah that undecided number was the number that mm -hmm. grabbed everybody's attention heading in so now it's going to be very interesting looking into the runoff because they've made a decision now it changes what do you expect there were about 17,000 votes between Moore and Dickens so percentage wise it's a big gap but vote numbers not so much much do you feel like this could be a tight one this is going to be an interesting race it would have been more interesting to see more in Reed because there are clear contrasts between the two of them and in that instance I would have predicted that the Dickens voters would have defected to more but now that it's more in Dickens who might be perceived as a little closer together I think it's a question of where the other votes go so Mayor Reed could actually still be a really influential person in this race I'll be really interested to see who he endorses Atlanta has significant issues facing it, crime, mm -hmm. homelessness, and many others, yet voter turnout was very small. I mean, we don't normally get a, a lot of voter turnout, but the numbers to me were strikingly small. Yes, so I mean, one, we shouldn't have expected presidential level turnout or even midterm level turnout sure. for a mayoral election. Um, that's part of the story, but I think there's also the story about mobilization. Um, just because people turned out last year doesn't mean that they're going to turn out this year. You still have to go ask for people to turn out to vote, and so perhaps what we're seeing is this breakdown in mobilization mm -hmm. and a reminder that we always have to do the type of shoe leather politics that we saw in 2020, even for local elections, perhaps even more so for local elections because they're so important. So that will be the key in the next three weeks. November 30th will be the runoff, and we'll look forward to talking to you a lot more between now and then to see what happens. Really a race that the country is watching here in Atlanta. Dr. Gillespie, as always, we appreciate it. Thank you.